Everyone, it's me. Da da da. da. Welcome, Jenna. Bim, 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 bim. Yes, that was an effort at a jingle, and now it's there, and that's just that. So I got tagged by Emma Ross and Books. Thank you. I'll go ahead and make sure to every for every booktuber I mention, um, I will put the link in the descriptees down below. Um, super thanks to her. She tagged me in this adorable tag dilemma of book nerds and yay super cute i love also that she's into bullet journaling because i'm big into bullet journaling in fact this is my bullet journal from uh last year right around this time and right here boom booktube so that just made me super happy she also mentioned dane reads who i super enjoy um and but the real star less does not forget is biggie the cat Go for Dane Reads. Stay for the Mau Maus. And this is the Dilemmas of a Book Nerd Tag. The creator is, I uh, will make sure to put that link first down below. And yay, thank you to that person. Uh, so, questions. Questions about storage. You know, we don't really have a lot of books. We're kind of, I don't want to say we're minimalist, but we really... We have one bookshelf, and whatever we have fits on that bookshelf. But I also have found sneaky ways to get around that. Like, in my nightstand, I've got some books, and then sometimes I'll use them as planter holders. And so I find ways, but usually we stick just to this. The other question is about tracking, like how I keep track of how many books I read or what books I read, and I just... I don't do that. In my real life, I'm a teacher, and I just don't have that kind of time. My time I have to invest in self-care. I'm not going to spend counting things. No, thank you. Uh, the next question is, do you lend books out? And I actually don't. I just give them out. If I give a book, if a book goes from my hands, it's a gift. I um, actually just gave my dear friend, Robin. The Last Unicorn. Aw, I hope she likes it. I'm going to draw a little unicorn horn for you. Right there. That's for you, my friend. Um, then the question is, how do you acquire books? And my is like all the ways. Like if you go to Rasputin, you can get a ton of books that are super appropriate for a classroom. Oh, pardon us. Yes. Is there something you would like to add? Hmm? Is there other information you would like to contribute? Yes? No? Okay. Why, thank you then. Do you mind if I... Do you mind? Is that going to be okay? All right, I think she's going she's gonna to be okay with this. And I acquire books through a lot of different ways. I actually own a lot of audio books. Um, I have... If I go to, like, San Francisco and I see a book, then, yeah, I'm into it. But, yes... You're not going to say, get it, Ioni, get it. You get the tail. Yes, get the tail. Oh, girl. Yes, you silly. Um, so, but a lot of my books are audiobooks, audiobooks, etc. Then there's this question, and I think this is, like, meant for, like, more, like, I don't know, affluent or well-known booktubers, because the question was something like, um, are you... One moment, there's drama. Guys, thank you. Ridiculous. Um, so, it was the question is, how do you deal with the question or comments about how much you read? And it's just kind of like, I don't know, and I'm an educator, so in education, I think, I don't know, I just, nobody's asked me that question, so I have no answer. I wonder, how how would I react if someone's like, how do you find the time to read? I'd be like, oh, man, self-care, my friend. It's necessary. You have to, have to, have to, have to, have to do those things. Um, number six is how do you choose? How do you choose what you're going to read? How do you pick? And for me, it all depends. Like, I'm not going to get too much into it, but right now I'm into just Hannigan for my professional life. I went to a PD of hers. She did an amazing job. Um, really powerful stuff. And so, like, right now, my professional focus is how do I build those social-emotional pieces into my classroom with 
routines, etc. I won't get into it because you guys know. Actually, you don't know, and uh, you don't want to find out. It's really bad. I could go on and on and on for hours and hours and hours about school, but I won't because this is book tube, not teacher tube. Um, ooh, I wonder if teacher tube's a thing. Okay, so that's, you know, I went to a PD, saw her in person, loved it, really fell in love with her writing, so that's what I'm focusing on. Um, other ways is I, my level 10 life focus, whatever that is, um, like five second rule is something that's really powerful when I wanted to get over procrastination pieces. Um, and sometimes it's just curiosity and if it's just written by Lee Child. So those are my criteria. Um, number seven is about travel. We have traveled a little bit, but I still have some dream travel I'd like to do. And I'm just kind of like, bring whatever books you want. Um, if you're limited in space, you'll figure it out. Then, but if it's up to me, I'm just gonna bring. I'm just gonna bring my library. That's what we're gonna do. Number eight asks a question about um, marking your text versus not marking your text. And so I kind of tried to represent this in this little, isn't that cute little color. Anyways, um, and it totally depends. If it's for professional at all, then yes, it's gonna be marked up because. I have read and believe that if you read something, it's, uh, or if you write something down, it's as powerful as um, reading it seven times. So it's really important. So it depends on which file it's going into of my brain. If it's going into the genocide, then no, I'm not going to really annotate on it. But if it's information that I've learned as a teacher that I want to look back on, um, because I categorize my notes, so if I'm having a hard time with something, or if I'm trying to remember something, I can just go back and look through my bullet journal. So yeah, that's that's that answer. It depends, it depends. Um, right here, backlist or new? This question was asked a different way. It'll be all right down in the things, but I'm not gonna pause and go look at it, so. But it was basically like um, old text or new text, and I'm there's only one criteria for a new text for me. I'm trying to figure out how to do this without the shadows, and I just don't think that's going to happen. Um, so there's only one criteria for me to buy a new book, and it's if it's written by Lee Child. Otherwise, I don't really have a preference. Um, then number 10 is actually one of my favorite phenomenons. It talks about um, what happens when you come across... A, series, a book and you realize that it's part of a series. Not only is it part of a series, but it was like published 10 years ago, so every book is out. I love it. It's like binging on Netflix and I soup, I feel like I'm like time traveling, you know, because I didn't have to sit through those agonizing months of waiting for the next series. I get to just hit next and I think that's magic. So the next bit is to um, tag a few people. So I'm going to tag Leah and Dane and Joe and Sarah and Kate. And wait, there's one more person. Dun, 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 dun. You! Yes, you watching right now. Yes, all right. So, dun, 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 dun. that's it. Thanks for tagging me. And, uh, yeah, keep reading and take care of yourselves.